Hello and welcome to this Beatles 73 episode. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Over 2,700 of you watched my Beatles 72, which actually surprised me. Got quite a lot of good comments from you guys. I really do appreciate that. A bit of back and forth every now and then between me and some of you, but that's, that's fine. That's fine. It made me realize that uh, maybe I haven't told you guys what the rules that I've set upon myself were. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly go through them now, if I can remember them. Rule one was I didn't want any Beatles bitching about each other's songs. I have broken that rule in this episode. Stay tuned for that. Um, uh, but it's slim pickings, isn't it? Rule two was I didn't want any overtly political songs. Um, I'm not pointing any fingers. <laughs> John Lennon. So, you know, I... Rule one and rule two, I've lost quite a lot of good John Lennon songs, uh, but I just didn't want them in there. Rule three was that the song had to be released. I get a lot of comments saying, um, well, actually, this is how I hear you guys. <laughs> well, actually, um, that song was uh, worked on in 1971 and therefore, yeah, I don't care. It has to be released. They must have been happy with what they created to have released it. I'm sure I've broken that rule as well. So they're, so they're the three main rules that I'm kind of going by when I'm making these albums. Um, let's, let's crack on with uh, Beatles 73. So I should have released this video last week. Paul McCartney in 1973 was a powerhouse and he had two albums and so it could not be a bad album. So I, I made a track listing and I, I drive for a living. That's what that means. Uh, I'm not tossing it. it, doesn't matter what I'm doing. I drive for a living. I made my playlist and I'm driving around and I'm going, ah, oh, this is a great, great album. What a shame. Like they didn't carry on and make this album and I was happy with it. And I was like, oh, I'm going to make the video. And as usual, I procrastinate. Is that the word? And I thought, oh, I'll, I'll just have a look at Beatles 74 whilst I'm sitting here doing nothing. I'm supposed to be making a video. Then I realized that Paul McCartney had no official releases in 74. And I was like, ah, bugger. So that meant I had to look at 73 again. And I've this may enrage some of you. But what I have decided is for 73, I'm only going to take songs from Red Rose Speedway. 74 will get banned on the run. How do you think I felt? So let's crack on with my Beatles 73 album. It's got 12 songs in it. Oh, please do like and subscribe and share this video if you like what I'm doing comment and all that stuff that is supposed to be good please do it track one comes from an album i recently reviewed on this channel um i'll put the there'll be a link on one of these I, I never know which side it is let's go with that side i bet it's the other side so the mind games album i didn't particularly Think was any good if i'm honest i've never it's not one of those albums that um i own um i only really had listened to mind games the song off it um maybe another one can't remember um but i have chosen a song that i'd never heard before to open this beatle 73 album and that is meat city it is brilliant I love this. I hate myself for not knowing this song before. I mean, I must. I've, I've listened to all all of John Lennon stuff, and this must just not have resonated with me before. But oh my god, I love this! I actually made myself a superior mix, as I called it, where I took I think it's the Element mix, the beginning of the Elements mix, and then I put it onto the new Ultimate mix, and it's it's so good. But for this, for the purposes of this, I'm just going with Meat City Ultimate mix. Uh, to open that album and the reason why I chose this to open the album is just that boom straight away we're in and Lennon's weird um, chord structure that's going on there oh love it so good the second song if I'm not mistaken Paul McCartney opens that TV show that he did called well I think it's called the Paul McCartney show but anyway uh, I'm pretty sure he opened with Big Barn Bed I could be wrong but anyway it's track number two I've always liked this. It's got a nice 
slow build and then it's just really good. Track three, and here's a spoiler, there's going to be two Ringo songs on here. Um, I was toying with using the John Lennon version of this, but the Ringo Starr version is much more complete. It's I'm the Greatest. The reason I chose this is because there's only three John Lennon songs on this album. Um, sorry, I just didn't like him in 73. You know, sue me. In the end, I did actually just flip a coin and Ringo won. So I've gone with I'm the Greatest by Ringo Starr. I love the John Lennon version. Um, I took it off of that box set. Can you see it over there? There, can you see that? Oh my God, how fat I am. Why did no one tell me? So yeah, I, like, I really love the one off the Lennon Anthology. I think it's also on the uh, the new Ultimate Mix um, album that was released. I love how John Lennon kind of undersings it. And when he says, you're great. Love that. But Ringo won the time cost. He's on the album. Two songs he gets this time. So another thing that I do when I'm compiling these playlists is that I don't always choose songs that I love love like i could pick my favorite songs every single time and it would be an amazing playlist but would the beatles have chosen it as a, a set list for their album and i i don't think they would have i just don't think they would have even on my favorite beatles album there's a song i don't particularly like and this will shock some of you i don't like come together so me but that's kind of my point come together is a great song i know it's a great song and i you know i don't think it's a shit song it's just my least favorite song so with that in mind <laughs> i've chosen as track number four one day at a time uh by john lennon um it's not it's not a crap song it's, it's all right it's good um and when it comes on i'm not like ugh, I, I never skip it but it's on the album because i don't particularly like the rest of his album <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you guys. There's a lot of Mind Game album fans out there, I know, and you're, you're going to kill me. But, I you know, we can't like everything the same, guys. Track five, and I'm breaking one of my rules, and that is no Beatle infighting songs. Uh, this comes off the Living in the Material World album, which, again, I've never really listened to much. I've, believe me, I listened to it for this. Um... I've chosen Sue Me, Sue You Blues. Um, it's a great song. I've actually always liked it. It's one of the songs that I do know of George Harrison. Always liked this song. It's a great song. And so it's on there. And I know it's sort of infighting, but I, you know, I didn't like the rest of the album much, if I'm honest. Sorry. I'm doing far much apologising. This is my list, and this is what I want. Track six, and this would close out imaginary side A of this album. Um, okay, so I wasn't going to include this. And I had Country Dreamer in its place. And when I looked at the whole set list, I was kind of like, ah, oh, this Paul McCartney was better than what I was representing him, uh, re representing him as here. Um, and Country Dreamer, great song, I love it. But the song I had already dismissed as like, no, I can't put that on, I've put it on. And that is, I'm waffling, and I? The suspense must be kidding you. Bored, you're bored, you're bored. Live and Let Die. Um, I wasn't going to put it on. It's It was for a movie. Uh, but then, hey, he put it on Red Rose Speedway. So does it really matter? And... Yeah, The Beatles Live and Let Die would be awesome. Might be a good album title. What do you think? No? Okay. So Live and Let Die closes out my side A. I'm happy it's on there now. Um, it makes this album so much better. Track 7, or, you know, side B, track 1. But let's just go with track 7. Is Mind Games. Um, great song. Great song. It was really the only song I used to like off of the Mind Games album. I now like Meat City as well. George Harrison would always bring an Indian musical flavour to his songs. And I think um, in Mind Games, Yoko's influences come across in this. And it's a brilliant song. It's different for the Beatles. It's on there. The next track is George Harrison. Um, it's actually from 1971. It was the B-side to his uh, Bangladesh 
uh, single. It's Deep Blue. It's I think it's a really forgotten maybe about B-side of his, but it's so good. It's such a good song. Um, written, I believe, after his mother died, and it was just him coping with that. Might be other things. Uh, but uh, yeah, Deep Blue by George Harrison. Great track. Track eight. Awesome. Track nine. Uh, I dismissed initially because um, it has someone else other than a Beatles singing on it. But I can't not have it on this album if I'm taking from Red Rose Speedway. Um, I, lo I love this song so much. Uh, my missus, who doesn't like... I don't know what's wrong with her. She doesn't like Paul McCartney. She doesn't like the Beatles. I'm sick of her. But this song, she actually said, hey, what's what's that song? I really like it. So <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, you, you're wrong. Little Lamb Dragonfly. Now, you, some of you guys may think that is dirge, but I think it's a beautiful song. Problem is we do have Denny Lane singing on the front of it. So that's where, again, it's a fantasy album. Let's just fantasize that John singing that bit. Because, uh, you know, with AI these days, someone could probably do it. Send it to me. I want it. John Lennon, please. But Little Land Dragonfly, it's a great song. It's really long as well. Uh, but I'll never get bored of it. Um, sorry if you don't like it. But yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm apologizing again. I'm not sorry. I'm a little bit sorry because I know this, you know, some people don't like Little Lamb Dragonfly, but I do like it. I don't know what to tell you. Track 10, George Harrison, Give Me Love, Give Me Peace on Earth. What an amazing song this is. I love this. I can play it on the guitar, so there's added bonus for, for the song. Not me, for the song. Uh, nice and simple to play. No, I, re I really do love it. Um, always have. It's on there. Track 11, and it's the second Ringo song. You may have guessed what it's going to be already. Um, arguably, this is the best song on the album. Photograph. An amazing song. Um, I, 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 I kind of asked myself, why the hell? Because like, this has got George Harrison written all over it. Why the hell did George Harrison give this away to Ringo? That's my thought process but then Ringo must have genuinely wrote this with him so George Harrison couldn't keep it for himself <laughs> but um such a good song such a good song don't know what else to say about it it's brilliant track 12 and the album closer is My Love by Paul McCartney on the 72 album I didn't have a you know, a classic McCartney ballad. And so my love just had to go on this. If you don't like the song, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. It's a brilliant song and it closes out the album. So there you have it. What did you think of my choices? Have I, have I balls up? Have I missed any obvious ones? If you're going to mention anything off of the Band on the Run album, forget it. I don't want to hear it. Because Band on the Run is going to make the Beatles 74 album pretty damn good. As usual, I want to hear what you guys think of this. I want to hear what you guys would have put on there. Um, I'm also very particularly interested in to, to hear what you guys would call this album. Um, the last album, I think someone said Gimme Some Truth. And I think the Beatles Gimme Some Truth is a good title for the album. So that's what I'm going to call 72. Heard it here first. And last, because who else is talking about this? No. Thank you very, very much for watching. Look forward to Beatles 74. That's just going to be around the corner. Probably be wearing the same T-shirt. If I'm honest, I might do it tonight. Probably won't. Uh, but thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know your feelings. Not all your feelings. Your feelings about this. Jesus, I'm not your bloody psychiatrist.